Bonjour les Français, me voici, Madame Dier. Aujourd'hui, on discute les verbes réfléchir, reflexive verbs. D'abord, qu'est-ce que c'est? Un verbe réfléchir, ça veut dire a reflexive verb. You've actually seen them before. It's one of the first things you learn to do in français. Un, to greet people, you would introduce yourself by saying je m'appelle or tu t'appelles, like in the question, comment tu t'appelles? Je m'appelle, literally, I call myself, or you call yourself. We structure it that way en français, but the practical translation for us is my name is, or your name is. It's un peu différent, la structure française. Like looking in a mirror, these verbs are reflective. They reflect back on the person who is doing the action. Most verbes réfléchis are in this category because they're personal care verbs. You do the action to yourself. And generally, these are things that other people can't or don't do for you after a certain age. If we stick with the miroir example and we in think about the way that a verb will reflect back on the person, a verb réfléchi will change with each person who uses it. Kind of like when people are in front of a mirror, it'll reflect back the image of that person or group of people. Verbes réfléchis make changes in their structure for each person différent. Ça ressemble à quoi? What does it look like? You'll always see un verbe réfléchi in its infinitive, or no changes form, introduced by ce or s apostrophe. Par exemple, se brosser or s'habiller, to brush one's teeth or to get oneself dressed. The se, ici, is called a reflexive pronoun or pronom réfléchi. It's basically a signal to a writer or speaker to use reflexive conjugation rules. Fantastique, you say. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? How does this work? Un verbe réfléchi is basically an expression of doing this action to oneself. So a sentence en français might look like, Je me regarde dans la glace. Literally, I look at myself in the mirror. This is how it would look word for word. Practically, we say, I look at myself in the mirror. You'll notice, avec les exemples, that un verbe réfléchi will always have two parts to change. It'll have the pronom réfléchi, that reflexive part that began as a se, and also le verbe. Le verbe is going to be pretty simple because they are endings that you're familiar with and have seen before. Regardez un exemple. Est-ce que tu te laves? Tu te Love, and you'll notice that there's a change here for tu to reflect te, and also an ending that matches tu or s. Oui, je me lave. Here, the reflexive pronoun is shifted to me to reflect that I'm doing this action to myself, and my ending matches je. Voici la conjugaison se laver. And we've color coordinated this for you so that it will help. You'll always see the infinitif, the verb with no changes, as a se in front. That's the reflexive signal. Hey, look out, I'm doing this verb to myself. Then you'll have the verb, and we follow normal ER conjugation patterns for it. So the first thing to do is put in your sujet, je, tu, il, or elle, also on here, nous, vous, il, ou, elle, pluriel. We're going to make a switch with se, ici, so for je, we're going to change it to me. That's easy enough. It looks like me. So I do this to myself. For tu, we change to te. Il or elle, it actually stays as se. You'll notice that a lot of these patterns are pretty familiar, like moi or toi, or mon mame ton tate sans sasse. Similar patterns, just a little bit different in the structure. When we continue pour les pluriels, se makes some pretty big shifts. Nous, nous, lavons. The nous doubles up, and it's pretty fun to say. Nous, nous, lavons. We do the same thing for vous. Se modifies to vous. Vous, vous, 
lave. In the pluriel, il ou elle, it stays as se. Il ou elle se lave. The second part of the conjugaison is taking care of the ER at the end so that we're sure to modify the verb for each person. Here, we follow standard ER conjugation rules. We drop our ER. We use what's left as our stem. Love, 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 love. And then we add back the ending. E, E, S, E, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. Or if you prefer chanter, E, E, S, E, O, N, S, O, Z, E, N, T. Might remember that one. Ici, je me lave, I wash myself. Tu te laves, you wash yourself. Il se lave, he washes himself. Elle se lave, she washes herself. Nous nous lavons, we all wash ourselves. Vous vous lavez, you all wash yourselves. Il se lave, they wash themselves. Elle se lave, they wash themselves. Pretty straightforward. There are different parts, but all you have to know is that so is kind of a placeholder, and you modify it for each person. Oui, en rose. And then you change the ER just like you used to, back in français. Hein? Le négatif pour les verbes réfléchis, c'est amusant. So let's say we have nous nous lavons. We wash ourselves. It's a good thing, right, to be clean? But maybe we don't have time one morning. So, we add in ne and pas. When we do a négatif for les verbes réfléchis, nous l'avons, the pronoun réfléchi and the verb stick together. Ne and pas sandwich the verb on the outside. So now it's kind of like having an hamburger and fromage inside your buns. It's pronounced nous ne nous l'avons pas, or a little more rapide, Nous ne nous lavons pas. We are not washing ourselves. Yeah. Voici une liste des verbes utiles. These are useful verbs that we use to talk about our daily routine, and you'll notice that they all start with se, because these are verbs that we do for ourselves. Se réveiller. Réveiller. Se réveiller. To wake up. Se lever. Se lever, to actually get up out of bed, or to get oneself up from sitting to standing. Se laver, you can add a body part if needed. Se laver, to wash. Se raser, se raser, to shave. Se brosser, se brosser, usually les dents ou les cheveux, to brush. Se maquiller, se maquiller, to put on makeup. S'habiller, s'habiller, to get yourself dressed. Se préparer, se préparer, to get ready. Se reposer, se reposer, to relax. Se déshabiller, Se déshabiller, to get yourself undressed. Et se coucher, se coucher, to go to bed. Les voilà, les verbes réfléchis. Merci, au revoir.